Warning, some of the animations in this game could be harmful for people who deal with epilepsy, seizures, or photosensitivity. So err on the side of caution when watching this series. Hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. I am Dr. Necklebeard, and today we are taking on the first kind of big leap in difficulty for this game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit the deck for you guys. That way I kind of forgot to in between episodes. I'm sorry. Uh, but... We're going to go ahead and add Mr. Guardian of the Throne Room to our little uh, deck here. We can afford it, so I'm happy to do it. I'm going to go ahead and take out... I'm trying to find it. There we go. Insects. They don't do anything for us, so we're not going to keep them. Uh, and instead, keep Guardian of the Throne Room, which I think can come in handy. We have some uh, usefulness for it. So, you know, I think that's pretty good. So, without further ado, let us continue, shall we? So, yes, uh, after Tristan and Taya, the difficulty really kind of ramps up, especially if you're deciding to do Yorkus for your first playthrough. My can be brutal. So, a lot of this is going to be a bit of luck. So, I'm going to preemptively save. That way, if I need to, it won't be so bad. So... So you're the one who betrayed those who summoned you. I guess I'll have to show you the error of your ways. I don't know why that's my my voice, but okay, <laughs> we'll just run with that. We'll we'll run with that. Uh, so ideally, we want to kind of have some pumpkins going on, build up our pumpkins, and kind of go off of there. So we don't have any. Nothing to really summon yet, so I think I'm just going to discard some stuff here. Skullstalker might be interesting. Uh, yeah, I think I will go with kind of Skullstalker. Plus, I can learn some fusions of a... Well, no fusions, but that's okay. We're going to play Skullstalker in defense, because... You know. Uh, also, I'd recommend, if you're going to fight my, make sure it's within the first five duels. Uh, the enemies will not fuse cards until that point. Okay, I think I will play Cyberstein a little bit here. Uh, because Cyberstein lets me... Uh, so I'm trying to think here, sorry. Cyberstein gives me a Wasteland, and Wasteland will be kind of nice in comparison to her mountain. So, hopefully it attacks into one of my cards. Ooh, a Melee into to Skullstalker. All right, we'll go ahead and show off Darkfire Dragon. So thankfully upon defeat, that should allow... That should allow it to lose some attack points, making it slightly weaker. We're going to pray I draw something half-decent to kind of deal with Darkfire Dragon. I don't have any definites right now. Starfire Dragon kind of looks interesting. I don't know if I like the color scheme entirely. I do... That's a thing I, I think I mentioned last time, but I, that's the thing I love about this game, is just, like, seeing all of, like, my childhood Yu-Gi-Oh cards come to life and have, like, actual attacks and actual uh, stuff going on. I love it. I love it a lot. Fiend's Hand. Okay, that could be useful. I kind of want to save my hand on that one. Um, hmm. I don't think they're going to attack into me except for this one. So, let's play a little defensively here. Hmm. I think I'll play the Witty Phantom here. I kind of want to be able to bring out my other card, but I have to kind of wait my turn here. The poor Woody Phantom. I will go ahead and skip the battle because we've already seen Darkfire Dragon now. So, oh boy, oh boy. Not looking great for us. I'm going to place Cyberstein here in the middle. Okay, see how defensive I can be. That is... All right, we're going to have to rely on Fiend's Hand a little bit. I didn't want to, but we're going to kind of have to. Notice no fusions yet. 
Ooh, you're attacking into me. That's not fun. 1700 is steep. Alright. Let's go ahead and place our petition on the side. What's Shadow Spectre do? That does nothing for me. So we are kind of not doing great. I'm going to go ahead and place Zombie Warrior in defense. But Cyber Sign in defense. And we're just going to kind of try to get myself over to here. So we can get something going on. Oh my gosh. Place our land there. Poor zombie warrior. Sucks seeing all my cards uh, die. <laughs> I'm praying for like a plant. Please just give me a plant. Cool, punished eagle. Uh, you activate Cyber Sense effect. It's not perfect, but it will do. Oh, I was gonna show, I should have shown punished eagle. I'm sorry. We'll probably have to fight punished eagle again. Uh, so we'll, we'll look at it then. I didn't think about it, and I actually automatically just did the... Oops, I, that's no big deal, but... My integrity. Please, I am begging you, give me... Give me anything! Skull Servant. Ah, oh, that doesn't help me. So I'm just gonna get rid of, uh... Everything here. And we're gonna pray I get some form of plant. Gosh. Ugh. Stop it. So I have a cat that decided that right now is the time to attack me. Sorry, I skipped that bit of the video. My cat decided to attack my chair, and I didn't think you guys want to hear me say, Stop it! No, don't! Ah, oh, bird face is annoying. Uh... This is not going great for us. Gonna fuse these two for Dragon Zombie. I know it's gonna be kind of brutal on us when he attacks into that, and I hate to waste it on just a Darkfire Dragon, but I need something here. God, that looks weird. Why is it all fleshy and stuff? Hate that. Oh, that 16 is like, ooh. Not looking good. We might get our first loss. Still no plants. That's all right. That's all we can really do right now. I uh, hate it. Uh, I think I'll give her a Shadow Spectre out of my hand. And I'll just start moving Dimension Hole out. And get myself in the uh, other side of the, uh, the map. If needed. God, that 700 is low, low. <sighs> That's just Shadows. Okay, that... Mm. I'm getting nervous here. Let's get rid of some monsters here. Haha, perfect. Finally. Get some some stuff going on here. God, uh, I'm starting to get a little nervous. I hate how quiet I was getting. <laughs> uh, but I can build up my strength a little bit, so that's nice. I can start playing some more uh, zombies going on. Um, I think I'll play Curse Breaker and try to lead their Punished Eagle into it. I know they're not going to be able to resist. 
Like, I just feel it in my bones that the second that thing gets in front of them, they're gonna, like, pounce on it. Uh, uh Dragon's Life is at 23. Let's go ahead and build up a Great Mammoth here, just next to us. Thank you, you fell for it, buddy. You're still powerful, but you're less powerful. The other thing I can hope for is, uh... Ooh, that works. Let's clean out my hand a little bit here. A little something. Keep me alive a little bit. They know she's gonna play defensively, and I can at least like build up my monsters a little bit. Uh, I guess Uzaki kind of works, but I will play Yami in a second. So that makes 25, 28, 26. I'm pretty good. I go with how low become by a thousand. That's nice, but not great. Go with Uzaki. Play our spell cards here. Right, move dimensional over here. And let's go ahead and activate some Yami. I believe she does have a mountain card in her deck, but, you know. Um, debating. Could maybe move up a little bit. Thirty-six. Ooh. Let's go ahead and make a second one. I'm gonna have to wait a turn though, because it's uh I don't want it on mountain space. So yeah, we're playing kinda defensively here, but it could be much much worse. I'll take it. So we're getting pretty good. Uh I just wanna raise Dragon Zombie up a little bit more before I kinda send it off into the wild. Okay, we're gonna play a little bit aggressively on that one. We'll have Tears of the Mermaid like kind of trail along. This is an actual proper war, and I'm, I'm not doing great. <laughs> I'm not. Ugh. Oops, sorry. Bump the mic. Hopefully, that didn't pick up. Ah, that's so satisfying. See what do I got around here? Hmm. A two thousand on that field. Um, debating here. Now I'll just keep. Uh, I'll keep Great Mammoth of Gold Fine as my like big beef boy. Oh, you are, you are in for it. So good. So good. I don't know if I have any other plants in the deck, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shock Saggy and Skullbird here. Actually, Skullbird might have been <laughs> decent here. I want I want her to attack him with Punish Eagle. Just let the Tears of the Mermaid activate. Making him weaker, and then next turn we bash him with another extra six hundred. Oof. That lag. Only downside to the simulator and this computer. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. 4,300, baby. 
Is it only 100 a turn? I thought it was like 300. No, it's 100. Okay. Well, let's do some damage. This will be so satisfying. I'm just gonna let I'm gonna let myself watch it. I know we've seen this one before. I'm just gonna let myself enjoy this. After being on the verge of dying for so long. I'm gonna appreciate. See, I've mentally been doing the math wrong, because for some reason I thought it was 300 and I don't know if I've been saying 300. I hope I haven't, because then I'm gonna look really silly and dumb. And the comments are gonna be like, you're you're dumb! How dare you? And I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, big man with graveyard, baby. Twenty five hundred. So satisfying. So utterly satisfying. Oh my gosh. We're gonna try to dismantle her little deck now. Hope she's ready. Can I attack from here? We'll try. We'll we'll kind of play the offensive a little bit here. So luckily, since we are fighting her before, uh, before we've had five victories, it allows us to fight her without any refusions. So she does lose access to uh, her harpy ladies, like at least how strong they typically are. She loses access to that part. Um, I think I'll get, like, blocked for another, like, turn. That's okay. I will kind of skip the battle. It will get rid of her bird face, which would be nice. Because her bird face is actually slightly annoying in the circumstance. Yeah, we're paralyzed, but we're still healthily in the dark area, so we're happy. Oh, glad I triggered Invisible Wire with this and supposed to, uh... That's perfectly fine. We have a card up my sleeve that I want to use. Good old blue eyes silver zombie. Which will turn one of my monsters into a zombie. So it just change it literally just changes this one to a zombie. That's it. That's all it does. So now Guardian of the Throne Room can get a little boost. Like you can boost that all you want. Everything of mine's getting boosted to high heaven here. So do I have a better zombie to deal with this? Oh, actually, doesn't this make another one? So now I get two of them? Aha! Okay, yeah, we can't really do much here right now. So... Yeah... Kind of just let my mammoth, despite having to get frozen every turn, we can at least battle into stuff. Ah, that's so satisfying. Yeah, we're gonna be 4,000. So, oh, we, yeah. Uh, yeah. We win. Empress Judge, thank you. You are the reason we win. Goodbye, my. This was a tough one, but not impossible. And I appreciate you li like battling me. So goodbye, farewell. Took you out first try. I feel so good about myself for that one, honestly. Hoping we get some good cards in her graveyard uh, slot machine. That's 2K. I think she only had one. So yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if Pumpkin King or the uh, big mammoth graveyard gets a leader bonus soon. I don't know if we have access to that yet or if that's after we beat the storyline, but... Ooh, Invisible Wire will actually be kind of useful. I will take that, honestly. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. So that is my defeated. Bam. Giving us access to this. Uh, what is it called? Dover. You're looking for a boat to take you to the continent? Climb aboard. 
All right, land lover, if you want to reach the continent, you'll have to face me in a duel. My name is Mako, card mercenary of, uh, Botania. At sea, you're my element, and I've been waiting for you to cross my path. Defeat me, and I'll deliver you to the shores of Baloney. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've got nothing against you, but I've been paid well to ensure you never reach the continent, and I intend to keep my end of the bargain. So yeah, next time, we'll be taking on Mako Tsunami. His water deck, it's actually kind of lethal. He is also kind of difficult. Uh, so we're going to try our best. I actually played a water deck, so I know how lethal it can get. So I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. For now.